It's a silent challenge, yet costly to the beef cattle business, liver abscess disease. So one of the recent estimates would be about 60 million annually that uh, liver abscesses could cost the beef packing industry. Then there are also um, performance effects that have a direct effect on the profitability of the cattle to the feed yard or the cattle owner. Usually we'll see in severe abscess situations, um, those cattle would have about a 5% decrease in feed intake, about a 10% reduction in, in uh, average daily gain or performance. Carcass weight is also reduced by about 10%. And so those, you know, the feed intake and the uh, carcass weight or live weight uh, would be a direct loss to the, to the feed yard. That's only on cattle deemed severe. About two thirds of liver abscesses fall into the mild category and don't cause economic loss. Today, antibiotics are the best tool for control, but Laudert says some best practices could be adopted to reduce overall use and improve outcomes. My belief is that, that a producer needs to start his control measures uh, very early in the feeding period for beef type uh, steers and heifers. So once we start cattle on feed and they start going up on ration, uh, if there's any kind of inconsistent intake, they get too much grain and they get a buildup of lactic acid in the rumen, uh, then the bacteria can really proliferate and, uh, and that sets the animal up for the uh, disease condition to go ahead and develop. So uh, early and mid would be the uh, critical times. Good bunk management is key. Beginning treatment earlier and ending it sooner shows promise. A lot of producers have pulled Tylosin out of the ration in the last 30 days prior to harvest and have not seen a significant increase in liver abscesses. This is one step forward. We need more like that. Does roughage help? Are there vaccines that are going to be developed by pharma companies that can address liver condemnations uh, independently of medically important antibiotics. That would all be positive. While cattlemen aim to balance care with concern for judicious antibiotic use, the feeding community is seeking new solutions. Uh, we're encouraged that producers and suppliers are experimenting and coming up with best practices to replace the need for using medically important antibiotics subtherapeutically. And so we think that it's the right thing to do. Cattle that have liver abscess disease don't show clinical signs, and one study suggests they don't even know it themselves. There is some recent research out of Colorado State University looking at cortisol levels and temperature and mobility score as the cattle come out of a, a squeeze chute. There's no difference between the animals uh, in those three parameters, the animals that had liver abscesses and those that didn't. So the uh, authors of the study concluded that liver abscesses don't cause discomfort, uh, are likely not a uh, welfare uh, or well-being issue with uh, feedlot cattle. Multifaceted and under the radar, the problem is tricky and costly, but most certainly worth the effort to solve. I'm Bob Cervera.